happy Saturday and welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ivy and I am looking my absolute best for you all, as always. <laughs> um, if you can't tell, the tired and the stress are really starting to get to me just a little bit. Um, but there is a light at the end of this tunnel. <sighs> Guys, it has been a journey here. The last month and a half straight up. So um, if you're new here, hey, you know, something's going on. We just opened an Airbnb. So we posted it on the Airbnb site on February the 1st. It is now March the 20th or somewhere around there. And um, our first guest just checked out this morning. He had an incredible time. He sent me pictures. Um, they absolutely had a wonderful time. And to be honest, I feel like Everything that could have gone wrong for our first guest went wrong. Um, but that's okay. Like he was a really chill, cool, laid back guy. So that was fantastic. Um, anyways, he kept me very updated, very communicative, everything. But now I'm headed out to clean and replace linens and all that kind of stuff. All this stuff I've been washing and prepping and getting ready is now finally going down there because we have our second group checking in in just a few short hours. And... In between a checkout, a cleaning, and a check-in, um, we have a wedding consultation coming down. So they're coming down. Um, it's actually a former youth member of mine, so that's super special and exciting. Um, but now we're new to, we've had several weddings down there, but now it's like, oh wait, now we have the Airbnb and we're doing weddings. Ah, okay, so anyways, it's been um, a learning process, that's for sure. So she's coming down to figure out where she's wanting to do her ceremony and get all the details and stuff like that. Uh, so busy afternoon. Riley is in Joplin playing softball. Scotty and Aiden are up there with her. Um, so I'm really sad to miss her game, but she does play on Monday really close to home. So no big deal. Um, I'm sure I'll miss something, but Scotty's like literally giving me a play by play and it's going to be okay. He's already doing videos and pictures and stuff. So um, this is definitely our family business. We are all in this together. Riley is very understanding. Um, she's going to be the main one doing the cleaning once we get established. That's going to be her summer job. Um, but this morning, my mom and dad are going down to help me um, for the first cleaning and all that stuff. Anyways, so busy morning. Just wanted to pop on here this morning and say hey. And, you know, I'm always looking my absolute best for you guys. Um, sorry about that. The tiredness and I don't even really want to say stress. I'm not like, I'm like majorly broke out if you can't tell. Um, but I'm not stressed about any of this. It's just a lot, a lot going on right now. So anyways, I'm going to go do that. I just wanted to say, Hey, before I got that started, um, probably not going to film much of anything down there. I'll probably show you how beautiful it is. Cause it's going to be a glorious day outside. Um, but otherwise it's just me cleaning. So not a lot to show. Um, maybe reset with the new bedding because we've got the the second set of bedding to put on there and then for the little boy that's coming. So <sighs> did I talk fast enough for you guys? I can feel it. All right. I've had two cups of coffee this morning. That's probably more than enough. Um, yep. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we're done. I'm going to film mama. She said, no, I'm, I got an arm full of junk, but she came down and helped me. It took us we got here at 11. It's exactly two o'clock right now, but we did have that wedding consultation come down. So they're going to book, which is so exciting. Um, but everything's reset. So let me just turn it around because you can see it a little bit better. So we've got the kiddo bedding up there. Um, it was really funny because I expected the teenager that was just here to have slept on the bottom. He slept on the top. So anyway, uh, that bed was unslept in. So I just remade the top one and then remade this one. I love this bedding set, but I wish I would have gotten the king size because it's barely big enough, but it looks really pretty in here, especially with the lamp shades and everything and the um, couch and all that jazz. So, and I love these rugs. They're just so nice, so plushy, so good. And that's it. But the guy checking out, he did write in the guest book. He wrote a very nice little message. They had a really good time and it's exciting. It's so exciting. I can't believe we're already on to guest number two. And I got another booking today for five days in April. So that's incredible. Now we are booked into April, which we did not have bookings into April as of this morning. So it's incredible. All right, we're going to get out of here because they should be here in less than an hour or right at an hour. Probably they're coming from an hour away. So I imagine that they are on the road. 
so okay i'll see you guys later on so i am home just chilling and it is absolutely beautiful out today uh so i have the front door open again and maui never goes outside or anything we have a dog door i've often wondered like oh I wonder if she, what if she would go out there or whatever but she is so cute she's sitting on the porch i don't know if she's watching the rooster or just enjoying the breeze or what but i just wanted to show you guys she has not moved from that spot since she went out there she's just looking around See, there's a rooster right there, or a chicken, but she's not moved off the porch, so I don't know what she's going to do if that chicken comes close. I don't know. She's just cute sitting out in the sun. No. Oh, well, I don't know. I might have. I was hoping to get somebody to make a shot. in the evening and me my mom and Riley my mom's in the bathroom so Riley's back there doing dishes are down here at the cabin cleaning up from our previous guests they actually left it very clean even though it rained like three of the five days they were here so bless their hearts um, they left us the sweetest message they had a wonderful time made the most of it even with the rain um, but oh, thank you heater for turning off um, but our next guest is coming in on Friday, so we are getting it cleaned up. Our guest checked out yesterday morning. Did I say that? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so we're getting it cleaned up and ready for our next guest that comes in tomorrow afternoon. So we're fixing to strip the beds, starting to get everything cleaned up. So I figured I would check in and say, hey, there's mama. She's working on the bathrooms. <laughs> um, and just kind of bring you guys along on a little time lapse of our cleaning. So. I've not vlogged all this week, so a good time lapse is long overdue. So here we go, let's get this place cleaned up.
we are done. Um, it is 7.15 and I've got to go get Aiden from practice, but yay us, we got that done in an hour and 15 minutes. So we are quite the efficient crew. Yes, we were able to get it done really quickly. Um, my keys. I just had to go back in for my phone and now I can't find my keys. But yeah, we did a good job. They actually left it really, really clean. So that was a huge advantage for us as well, was that they left it very clean. Yeah, you never know they have dogs. No, they had a huge like Rottweiler and a tiny little Chowini. So anyway, they kept it super clean. All right, well, good job, ladies. Good job, cleaning crew. Thank you. Whoops, uh-oh, Febreze on the gas pedal. Okay. So we are going to go get Aiden now from practice. I'll see you guys later on. All right. So we are home. Like I said, I'm so proud of us. We got it done in like an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes. Um, and just the more we do it, the faster it's going to be. And we mopped this time. We didn't mop last time. Um, cause it was just more of a hurry or whatever. And the floor was like hardly even dirty. So I don't know if that lady mopped or what. So anyways, uh, but that took us a little bit longer than I, I mean, I thought it was going to take us longer because we mopped, but it didn't. It was so good. Anyways, I'm fixing to make dinner and my parents are so sweet. Um, they have been buying these tamales. Sorry, we just let the dogs out. Oh, don't look at our trash over there. Or Riley's shoes. Sorry, the dogs are being so loud. I just let them out when we got home. Anyways, my parents have been buying these tamales and so they bought us some so sweet. Um, they are frozen. So, um, I'm going to figure out how to cook them, but they said they are absolutely delicious. And my parents are really good tamale makers. Um, and you know, they know a good tamale when they eat one. So anyways, I'm really excited about these, but they are in the frozen section at Walmart. Um, so there you go. Hot recommendation from my dad about tamales and my mom. But anyway, it was sweet. My daddy brought me these. He's like, got you these <laughs> when I went to pick up my mom to help us with cleaning and stuff. So anyway, I am going to steam some of these up. Scotty is out of town. He is in Nebraska turkey hunting. So it's just me and the kids tonight. Um, I guess we're going to save two of these for Scotty, but anyway, we're excited to give these a try. We are all some tamale lichen people. Okay. So I was just going to show you these. So they are wrapped in plastic and it says the instructions say steamer recommended leave in plastic wrapper if frozen steam for 25 minutes if thawed steam for 15. so i've got my like i don't think it's a double boiler because it is like a steamer basket i guess and then i've just got water in here and i've got the fire on i should probably wait till it's boiling to put these in there but you know it is what it is so anyway so i'm gonna steam them in here for 25 minutes all right, so here they are. I've already taste tested this little corner and uh, yeah, absolutely delicious. Like tastes like homemade tamales, so good. So um, I just warmed up some refried beans that I had. Um, my parents said it's good with like chili sauce on top. I don't have any, I normally do. So I'll have to get some and I'm gonna get more of these because wow, they are supremo, so good. Highly recommend. Yeah. He won't make it because I'm filming.
he's good at it. Yeah! All right, guys, we just got home from town. Both kids had games tonight. So Aiden had a basketball game. Of course, you will have already seen that. Um, but And they won. They won really good. And, and Aiden scored 15 points. The score was 34 to 21. He scored 15 of the 34 points. Like, that's pretty exciting. Um, and then Riley played softball and they won 15 to zero. So that was really exciting. Um, anyways, I didn't get to go to Riley's game cause it was like over an hour away, but I went to Aiden's home game and we had a really good time hanging out with friends there. <clears throat> um, like I said, Scotty's in Nebraska, so, um, he had to miss it unfortunately, but anyways, he's having a good time with his buddies. Um, we have had a really good week. I know I have hardly vlogged at all. So, um, I'm just real tired guys. I'm real tired. It's been a lot of stuff going on over the last couple of weeks. Um, our third guest checked in today. I did get to meet her. She was very sweet. Um, it's a girls weekend. So it's like three best friends. I'm going to be down there. Two of them were already there. The third one was still on the way. Anyways, they were very sweet. So that was kind of cool. I got to meet him. I had to go cause, um, one of our security cameras wasn't working. So I had to go check it out. And she was really understanding and sweet about that. So, um, anyway, so that was really exciting, but because of all the Airbnb stuff and sports picking back up and just end of school year stuff, I'm tired y'all. I'm super tired. So, um, please forgive this super short vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Nonetheless, um, tomorrow's going to start off with a bang. <laughs> We've got softball all day long. I'm going to have some groceries to get. Um, so I will bring you guys along next week as always, but thank you for coming along on this week with us. Um, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. I'm getting so close to 500, which is a huge milestone that I have been super excited to hit. So, um, yeah, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. So that is it. I'm going to be done jabbering. I'm going to go edit this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.